Hi there, welcome back. Let us look at vectors in one dimension. This will be the introduction. We can define a vector as an object that has both magnitude and direction. An area can be used to represent a vector and the length of the area can be related to the magnitude of the area head. Vector can be drawn on a Cartesian plane. Take this for example, a force of magnitude of 2 Newton acting on the positive x direction. So what this simply means is that your force will be drawn on the plane of the x direction facing the positive sign and will be 2 newtons. You can scale up. I'm going to take 1 centimeter per 1 newton. 2 newton will basically be 2 centimeters. However, it doesn't always mean that you always have to start at the origin. You can always start anywhere on the plane as long as you're facing the right direction. Vectors can be drawn parallel to each other. Another example is a force of magnitude of 2.5 newtons acting on the positive y direction. Taking 1 centimeter is to 1 newton, you can scale up and as you can see here, we have 2.5 newton of the force acting on the y plane on the positive side. This does not, however, mean you have to start at the origin. The vector can be placed anywhere on the Cartesian plane, as long as it's facing the positive direction, which is up on the y-axis. We just drew our vectors 2 newton facing the positive x side, and we just drew the 2.5 facing the y positive side. This can be drawn on the same Cartesian plane, which will be parallel to each other. Vectors can therefore be perpendicular to each other as well whereby the tails are touching. Vectors in a two dimension are not always parallel or perpendicular to each other. Take for example, F1, which is two newtons acting 45 degrees to the positive x direction. The angle can be easily achieved using a protector. Seemingly, if the force was acting on the negative 45 degrees, still to the positive x direction, it will be on the opposite side of the x. Next up, on the next video, we are going to explore an example. Thanks for watching.